Okay, this is a little demo of a magnetic encoder. Um, here's a bare circuit board. So the, the square chip in the center is the magnetic encoder. It's a 12-bit encoder. And it's from Austria Microsystems. And it's their uh, AS5055 uh, sensor. And so on top of, I have two of these little boards. And, and on the other one, I've made this little encoder knob with connected to a quick start board and having it feed back to a little seven segment display. And so as you see, it kind of jumps around when it's just sitting there. But this display, this uh, encoder setup is not very rigid. And I didn't have the right kind of magnets. These are axially um, magnetized. And so they don't quite, they're not the right ones. And so the, 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 um, the encoder knob has had to be, you know, set up high in order to make room for the magnets like this. And so I have some magnets coming tomorrow that hopefully will uh, make it easier to, to make this more compact and hopefully more rigid. And this is just expanded um, PVC up on top. And so it's a 12-bit output. And this is just a three-wire uh, SPI um, read-only right now, just because that's the easiest one to start with. And so the clockwise movement takes it down and counterclockwise makes it larger. So we go counterclockwise and see we just skip over there. So it goes 4,000. It should be 4,095 before it jumps. But with this setup, with just this, you know, um, expanded polyvinyl chloride, um, and I have, you know, this, uh, what is this, polymorph, um, just to hold things together, a couple of bolts, uh, nylon bolts. So it's not very rigid, and so hopefully if I had a more rigid setup, um, the display would be more solid. I just wanted to get you an idea here. Let's turn it up a little bit. 3,000 up to 4,000. And then 4,095, it should flip back to zero. And then the numbers go up again as it rotates around. So this is another alternative to an, an encoder. Now, what's nice about this is there's no brushes to wear out. A potentiometer, of course, would wear out sooner, but even encoders also wear out as well. Um, but this one, I mean, the hardware itself is the only thing to wear out. Um, because the magnet doesn't actually touch the encoder um, chip. And so the only thing, you know, and there's a, actually a ball bearing in here, um, a set of bearings. So it should last a long time, you know, it should be pretty durable. And um, relatively immune to dust and debris, I would imagine. You know, I just thought it was an interesting chip. Um, I, I'm not at the liberty to release the software yet, but I probably will be later on. I just thought I'd give everyone a quick little, um, little um, demo of what I've, I've done so far. Anyway, I think it's kind of a cool little sensor. And hopefully I'll have more in the future to, to talk about. That's it for now.